Hello everyone, it is Donnie, and you are watching Diamond Painting by Donnie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a special unboxing. I'm going to just say unboxing even though it's in a bag with the air boot around it. This is actually a diamond painting that I repurchased from a separate, different store because the first one I received was in really bad condition and I will never... Um, purchase from that store again. If you want to get caught up as to why I've replaced it, I'm going to link up here in the eye the original video from my unboxing of the unboxing of the original photo. Diamond painting. <laughs> anyway, I repurchased this from a store called uh, Kami Yi. Kami Yi. I have ordered from her before. Um, it's a 25 by 30. I had to get a little bit of a different size because they didn't have the same sizing. It's, uh, I paid $5.68. And the amazing thing is, is I ordered this December 2nd. They shipped it that same day. And I received it on the 24th. So it only took, um, oh, I wrote 12 days, but that's 22 days. So that's about average. I don't know what I was thinking. 20. 12, 22, eh, what's the difference? Yeah, 10 days. This is going to be a full round. So let's open it up and see what we got. I do not like these air bags. So I'm just going to deflate it. And then get it open. I don't like the airbags, the air boots, because generally they leave creases in your canvas from all that pressure. All right, so we can see where the indentions are from it being in the boot. You can see the miss, how it's really it's not round at all but it, it had the drills in the middle to kind of hold the shape so let's see how it looks oh I didn't show you the image this is what it is this beautiful purple eye with the butterfly and I really really was looking forward to doing it but um, the canvas was just so damaged I could probably do it now that I I um, learned how to take out puckers because I do believe it had a lot of puckers and bubbles. If you want to know how to um, remove puckers, uh, I have a video for that as well. And that's up here in the eye. And I'll also put my bubble removing video up there as well. All right, so here's our toolkit. Pretty basic, but they do have a six placer. Actually, this is a one of those seven placers. That's one of the newer ones. Here, let me show you. All right, let's see here. Uh, I have a six placer somewhere. I just want to show the difference. Okay, I guess I don't have one right here in hand. Oh yeah, here we go. Here's a six placer. And this is a a seven placer. It's a little bit bigger. If I can get them to stay next to each other. And these are a lot thinner. This is the first time I've gotten one of these. Okay, let's see if you can see the difference. It'll focus eventually. There we go. See, you can see this one slight. This one on the right here is slightly bigger than that one. So it's actually a seven placer, and this is a six placer. Wow, that is a lot thinner. Hmm. I'll have to try that out. I have not my first time. Well, actually, it says it right on there. You can see the seven. Is that upside down? Yeah, it's upside down. There's the number seven right on there. there you kind of get it at an angle and you can see it. See that? There you go. So yeah, they actually wrote it on there. That's cool. 
Now I just, I'd like to get the 10 and the four placer too. All right, so here's our drills with the inventory sheet. They do have a quality control stamp on it. We'll look at those in a minute. But the rest of the toolkit is just the basic stuff. Let's look at this canvas. That's the most important thing that I need on this because look at this, it looks pretty, it's pretty wrinkled. Hopefully that won't matter. Let's look, see if there's any puckers. Well, there might be one right there. I'll have to open it and see. All right, here we go. It's all in one, it's in one large piece. It's not split up. And there we go. Uh, wrinkles, all those bubbles right there already. There is some massive bubbling down here, but I don't think this one is as bad as the first one. I'm not sure about the clarity on this. I mean, it might turn out okay. But I'm guessing if I were to, let's see. Let me try rubbing this down because it just looked like it, it didn't, there wasn't a pucker, but the thing is, is weird on this one. I've never seen it like this before where the glue was lifted off of the canvas itself, but it wasn't puckered underneath. So it was, had the ability to just flatten right back down. So let's just try and get this, um, some pressure onto here to try and get it, <clears throat> some of those bubbles to lay down. Because normally I would just cut the bubbles, but that one was pretty big. I don't know what it is with this image. I just cannot seem to get it to arrive to me on a perfect canvas. Okay, so let's try opening it from the bottom and see what what it what it shows us All right. so there's still bubbles they're they're pretty small there all right so that spot where the big bubble was it's laying down now but there's just a little bit of raised bubbles here. So that is fixable. That is very doable. I can work with that. And the rest of it, it's laying down. And I think keeping it under some heavy objects overnight will help with it. But I will use um, my X-Acto knife to just cut down these, pop these bubbles and See what I can see if I can work with that. But here's the the drilling area, the drill surface. There you go. It's all focused now. It's pretty clear. Um, I didn't see anything that I had a problem with. Uh, I do have an issue though with how small this key is. It's pretty darn small. There. I have to pull this back so you can see the symbols. It's pretty, pretty tiny. But uh, other than the dark blue area, I can't really tell what those symbols are. I can see a little bit up at the top. They've, they've got some basic symbols. They've got numbers and some letters and just a couple of symbols. So that's good. Now let's look at these drills to see how many we've got. 
Well, they're not numbered on here either as to how many there are, so I'm going to have to count them. Oh, and they gave us uh, baggies. All right, there's not that many, but I, at least I can read the key on the inventory sheet a lot better. I can make a copy of this, blow it up, and put it on my container. It looks like somebody crumpled this up pretty bad. Uh, okay, so we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. We have 30 colors in this. But they're going to be some beautiful colors. There's 12 bags of 310 and 7 bags of 939. Uh, as far as the purple colors go, there's quite a few different purple colors. Purple and blues, because 820 has 5 bags. But everything else has 3 or less. Mostly 1s. So, let's just check real quick what we got, because... There's only 30 colors. Let's see, the 310s, 12 of them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I got that. And then 158. Yeah. Oh, there's some drills over here. 209. 1. And 208. Two. All right, 161. We got a couple of purple colors so far. Here's a gray, 169. And then 155. Another purple. I hate when it's black on dark colored drills. 336. We have one. 340, we have one. 414, which is another gray. And here's more grays. 318. And then we have 317. 333, we have three. 550, <clears throat> we have two. Another more purples, 3837, two. Oh, 791. Oh, we actually have a pink, a couple of pink colors. Oh, that must be um, in the middle of the, the butterfly and then on her eyeshadow. Oh, 3607, 3743. 3746, um, 796, 797, lovely blues, 792, another gray, really dark gray, almost black, 3799, 807, um, 939, I think this is this one. Yep, yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. All there. And then 995. We have 1, 3, 0, 4, 1. 647. And 823. And then we should have 5 of 820. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we do. So everything is here. And I'm just going to do a quick measure on this. I mean, it looks like a 25 by 30, but uh, the Tigger that I had done, it was a 25 by 30, and it actually looked bigger than this to me. It's just really strange how different companies do their rounds differently. They do either the opaque cover. It's the glue. It's the glue. It's all in the glue. All right, so that's actually a... Oh, 
okay, it's a little under. I thought it was over, but yeah, it's about 24.8 and a half. It's really close to 25. And going this way, let's get all the length we, length we can. And that comes to about 29.6. Let's pull it up just a little bit to the edge. And then we got 29.7. Eight. <laughs> you gotta flatten it sometimes because these will bubble up and make it sh look shorter. But so yeah, it's basically uh, 25 by 30. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get this set underneath some heavy stuff so that hopefully the adhesive will stay down against the canvas and maybe I'll be able to get to it someday soon. You know, in my mind, I can do them all like that. They can be done instantly, but that's not how it happens. Yeah. All right, guys, so here, this is my replacement canvas. It's not um, the best. It's not um, what I was hoping it would be. I was hoping it would be immaculate. <laughs> You know, if they would have put it around a foam roller, at least it may have been. It may have ended up in a better condition. I might, I might see about um, ironing this one, uh, since I've dabbled in ironing <laughs> canvases a little bit now. Um, I might give that a shot just to get these creases out. If after I lay it underneath heavy stuff, they're still there. And uh, if you want to see me ironing a canvas, um, I'll link that as well, right up there in the eye. All right, guys, so that's it for Cami Yee's Purple Eye, which I did name it um, Purple Eye. <laughs> um, let me get you a question of the day. All right, question of the day today. Are you more like your mom or your dad? And what are the similarities? Um, I've been told I look more like my dad. Uh, I uh, do have the similarities. I have his nose. I have the facial features that came from my dad. As far as my mom, I have some of the personality traits that she has, just different different mannerisms that she did. Um, I tend to do now, mainly because I'm older. And I think it's just some things that I've watched her do over the years, and they just kind of got picked up little bit by little bit but as far as resembling um it would be my dad and my dad and I we have the same you know smile our eyes you know disappear when we smile it's there's a lot of a lot of similarities but I'm my own um personality uh not like either my mom or my dad but yeah a little bit of both. So uh, if you want to answer the question of the day, you can leave your answer down below in the comment section. If you're on a mobile device, it is down below past the suggested videos. And on your way down, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you already aren't. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Have fun diamond painting, and don't forget to sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do. Take care, everyone. Bye.